Now, this has been going on not just at universities and at workplaces, but you see this, the attacks on J.K. Rawlins. Rawlin, Rawling, Rawling, no S. J.K. Rawling, the writer of Harry Potter. Huge, huge successful billionaire, but a leftist, very much committed to the left. And yet, J.K. Rowling has the audacity to actually believe that sex matters. Sex not in the act, but sex in that there is a male men and there are women. And that trans is not sex. That a man who says he's a woman is not a woman. He might be a trans woman, but he's not a woman. He's not the same. I don't know. There's a clear biological claim here that <laughs> is, in my view, obviously true. And she is objecting to this idea that everybody, trans women and women, be treated exactly the same. Now, for example, I'll give an example. I don't know what J.K. Rollins views this as sports. Well, a trans woman who, who's hormonally and in every other aspect a man, uh, men are stronger than women, faster than women. Competing against women is just wrong. In Scotland, supposedly, in order to use a woman's bathroom, all a man needs to do is, I guess, declare himself a woman, get some kind of certificate saying that he's declared himself a woman from the authorities, and he can now use the women's bathroom. And J.K. Rowling is saying, this is a threat. This is dangerous. Too many men can use this to assault women. And it's completely justified for parents and young women to be afraid of this, to be worried about this, to reject this idea. So you can be declared a woman even if you've had none of the hormone treatments and you haven't had any surgery, just by saying you're a woman, you're declared a woman. I mean, talk about emotion above reason. The victory of emotionalism over reality, facts. Now, J.K. Rollins is famous, and she's a billionaire, and she can take it, but her just indicating, and, and she says, generally she supports trans rights, the rights of individuals to transition if they want to. She supports them having, not being discriminated against. She takes a very individualist approach to this. She says, you can do what you want. She says she has friends who are trans, and so on. But she says, let's not be nuts about this. Women do menstruate. Trans women do not. That's a biological difference. Just for saying that, people are being ridiculed and attacked on social media. And are being accused of being transphobic, or, you know, which is the equivalent of being accused of racism. And J.K. Rollins has written an essay. Uh, it's, you can find it on her website, jkrowling.com. It's called J.K. Rowling Writes About Her Reasons for Speaking Out on Sex and Gender Issues. I, it's worth reading. It's an interesting read, whatever you think about these issues. Um, she explains her reasons. She explains why she's involved, mainly because she cares about women and women's safety. But she also cares about definitions of sex and sexuality and what it means. And she was, I guess, a sexual assault victim. She's afraid for women who can be, are going to become victims of sexual assault by men pretending to be women, whatever. And it's, I think it's a really good, it's a good essay. It's worth reading. Um, 
I don't agree with everything in it. You're not going to agree with everything in it. But it gives you a perspective on this whole issue and how violent the issue has become. It's become like race. If you say anything, anything, skeptical about children transitioning, which I think is a crime. I think a doctor who transitioned a child should be prosecuted. Parents who transition a child should be prosecuted under the law as child abuse. J.K. Rawlins herself says, there were times when she was a teenager, she didn't like being a woman. She didn't like being a girl. And her father didn't want a girl. He wanted a son. Wish she would have been tempted to transition. But then she says, that would have been horrific because I'm a woman and I love being a woman. I just had a, you know, when you're a teenager, you're confused. I know lots of little girls, seven, eight, nine, who would rather be boys. They're tomboys. We used to call them tomboys. Now, they're labeled as trans. And if they say they want to be a boy, the parents immediately take them seriously and start talking about the possibility of transitioning. I mean, it's insanity. And if you do the surgery and you change your mind, the damage cannot be undone. Cannot be undone. It turns out that many of these kids who, who want to transition, or some of them, many of them, are autistic. They, they, just the idea that a kid knows what it means to be male or female, has an opinion about it. Maybe, and, and again, J.K. Rollins talks about this, some women or men who are gay, but afraid of coming out as gay, afraid of the stigma, still in the, in the world we live in today, afraid of it, transition as a way of, because there's less of a, less of a, I guess, stigma. I mean, that's horrible. Some of the most feminine women I know, some of the most feminine women I know were tomboys. What you are as a young child, what you are as a teenager, even, does not reflect what you're going to be and what you're going to think and what you're going to want and what you're going to care about. Teenagers generally are depressed. Teenagers generally don't like their lives. So they want to change. But this is the kind of change you do not want your teenager to have until they're sure 100% that this is what they want and they understand the full consequences. But now, it's easy. And it's encouraged, and it's supported, and if you're against it, if you speak up against it, if you say anything against it, if you discuss it in any way without embracing it and endorsing it, you're transphobic, which is worse than being racist, and you're, you're probably a racist too, because I think um, intersectionality says that if you're one of these evils, you're all of these evils. The left is killing itself. J.K. Rollins is a leftist. She supports a left of leftist causes. She's a prominent woman on the left. But they're killing her themselves. This is why I always said, the left ultimately, the nutty left ultimately cannot rule. It is too disintegrated. It is too violent. It is too out to kill it, its own people. They need a, a dogma that many more people can accept. They need a real religion. What they have right now is not enough of a religion yet. So, good for J.K. Rollins. I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. And, uh, and you know, as a, and, and she writes well. She's intelligent. Her reasoning is good. Again, you're not going to agree with everything. I don't agree with everything. But it's, it's, it's worth reading if you're interested in this culture that just writes people off. So she's been written off by millions and millions of people online. There have been book burnings of J.K. Rowling's books of Harry Potter because she said something 
that they view as transphobic? What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, yourronbrookshow, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...